Well, it's Thursday of the octave of Easter, and you probably figured out I took a little break. I'm thinking about coming back to providing, you know, reflections. I think I might go with a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday reflection schedule. Um, an opportunity for me to, you know, not be pressured every day to try to film and edit and, and you know, get the information uploaded, but also an opportunity for you to uh, go elsewhere to find some good, solid reflection. You know, today, you know, Jesus presents himself to those in the upper room, and he reveals his wounds. He says, it is I, look at me, look at my wounds. And it's the idea that in the resurrection, Christ is seen with his wounds. Wounds which are transformed. Wounds which are transformative. And it's a reminder for you and for me that we have to look at our own woundedness as a gift. And to take the opportunity not to run away from those sorrows and their pains, but rather to see within those moments a true opportunity to be transformed. Maybe it's a great, you know, longing to return to the altar to receive the Eucharist, which is being denied to us now, to be able to open ourselves up to then understand how many come to fill our churches who are not properly disposed to receive the Eucharist. Perhaps they're in the state of mortal sin. Perhaps they're not fully, you know, initiated into the Catholic Church. There's numerous reasons why someone might be celebrating the liturgy with us, but not able to partake of the Eucharist. How their hearts must long to be able to join us in this thanksgiving. That woundedness that we have now and being denied the Eucharist, you know, it can be transformative if we allow it to open our hearts and to see that there are other people in the world who carry that same wound and to see us connected to them spiritually and to know that we need to be there for them, not only spiritually, but in the most practical ways that we possibly can, to support them, to let them know that they are not alone, to pray for them, to sympathize and to empathize with them. And this we learn most fully when we ourselves take an opportunity to allow our own wounded nature to transform us into something more closely representing Christ himself, and let, to allow ourselves to be transformed into people who truly know what it means to love one another.